I, I would kick my own butt if we got through this whole conversation. I didn't ask you about the Wheel of Time. Uh, what's been your What's been your involvement with the Wheel of Time? So yes, so the 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 Wheel of Time. Um, for those who aren't familiar with it, um, is one of like Tor's best selling series. Um, you know, I am currently the in house editor for it. The actual editor, Harriet McDougall, um, who is also Robert Jordan's widow. Actually, she was the one who found him. Um, you know, it, it, and um, I work with with Harriet and the rest of the people at the Robert Jordan Estate. Uh, you know, in um, in any work that continues the franchise. So right now at the moment, like one of our you know huge books coming out this fall is War of the Altai, which is Robert Jordan's previously unpublished novel um, that like there's, uh, I think you can, I think we posted online somewhere, like the whole backstory about why it was unpublished, but it was totally like a weird contractual like thing. It wasn't because the book was bad. It was just, you know, it was a case where, um, where he wrote the first novel and that's how he got, you know, you know, in editorial attention, agent attention, but then he started writing like all of these um, like historical novels and those historical novels got published first. Um, and because, you know, it, it was because of that and the publisher at the time, like didn't want to change his brand because they're selling really well. Like why would we take a risk in publishing him in a tiny direction? He's already doing so well for this one. So we're just gonna like not publish this, but keep it on the shelf. So, we, you know, and, <laughs> and yeah, that happens, you know? And, you know, and that's what happened to this book. Um, you suggest that a publisher somewhere has made a bad call? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, so it's funny to like, you know, and, and we're really happy that, you know, this book is going to be out in the world. We think that, you know, fans of Wheel of Time, you know, um, and of Robert Jordan will definitely love, you know, to take a look at his early work. Um, you know, and it does, you know, have still have like literary merit, even though, you know, the Wheel of Time was written later. And of course, he had matured his writing style by then, but you can definitely, you know, for really both for hardcore fans and for both people who are new to his work, I think it'll be a great entry point for readers. And how does the uh, process differ? Is it, is it easier if the author isn't, uh, isn't there to have as much input uh, or is it more a matter of curation and, and making sure uh, that you're, you're, you're doing everything you can to proceed as though uh, Mr. Jordan were there and obviously uh, his widow has, has quite a bit of input as well? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, for me, um, I, I work more of like a support position for the book because it's definitely Harriet. It's like she she's always been his editor, um, you know, throughout their entire lives. So it was a no brainer that like when there's, you know, she and Tom Doherty uh, decide together that now is the right time to publish this book. You no, know, you know, she, you know, had it, it had already been edited too. First of all, like so that helped. <laughs> That's <laughs> a different speaker. Right. So it was a matter of like going back uh, and fine tuning a couple of elements that might, you know, have been a bit dated, you know, by today's standards. Um, you know, streamlining like some of the copy edits that might have not gone through, you know, previous drafts. Um, and just like, you know, it's basically Harry and Tom working together to, you know, polish it up before putting it out. So, 